So the double, ga double game weeks are finished and we are now 11 weeks from the end of the season. Welcome to game week 28. So it's the two informed sides facing off against each other. Ahmed with 8 straight wins facing off against myself on the best current run of 4 straight wins. Putting together a team of 11 with just 4 teams. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. And to my surprise, putting my fate in just 4 teams, it paid off. Aston Villa let me down in the final 30 seconds of their game. Everton fell apart against Burnley was also a worry. However, Man City completely turned things around with John Stones and even Sergio Aguero scoring his first goal this season. So Ahmed may have had a great week defensively, however it was the incredible signing of Kelechi Iheanacho to the side as he bagged his first hat-trick, followed by Vardy who got three assists to carry me to victory. This put a stop to Ahmed's 8 straight victories and increased my victories to 5 straight wins. The final score, Andy 73, Ahmed 43. So after Ahmed's defeat, could Fuelon reduce the gap? The answer is no he can't and Ross manages to end a 4 game losing streak with another surprise victory this week. Fuelon being his own worst enemy once again as he made 4 transfers and all 4 of them got 0 points. Those transfers look more focused for the upcoming week, however for the week at hand it was an embarrassing performance for the potential title contender. Take nothing away from Ross who has recently scored 50 points in back to back weeks, his side was certainly performing and new signing Jota 3 weeks ago was proven to be a smart call. Good defensive work followed by Watkins goal was enough to seal the win. Ross 41, Waylon 27. Moving on to this week's middle of the table clash, 3rd place Alex despite a 6 game losing streak facing off against Tomas who has a chance to leap into 4th and it was indeed Tomas who came away with a huge win to go ahead of Alex in the table into the top 4. Cancelo having a perfect game along with Trent and Mane both on the board together. Tierney and Lacazette were good but William was a poor transfer, I did try to warn him. Alex has now hit a 7 game losing streak after losing every game since his last win which was against Tomas. Zaha and Dunk may rescue wins for their club, but unfortunately the rest of Alex's side had another week off, and it's just a matter of how far will Alex fall this season. Final score, Alex 31, Tomas 54. Moving on to the game of the week, with Alex losing against Tomas, it was up to Nicholas to continue his winning form and enter the vacant third spot with a win, which he just about managed to achieve as his trio in defence scored top points, followed by a Che Adams strike to give 29 points. The rest of his side did scramble to get the remaining points, however a son injury is a big concern as the season hits the final lap. Niall on the other hand perhaps was not expecting Ahmed to lose this week but still had his own job to do. A very similar scoring but only two defenders and Jesus managed to score any big points, the rest of his City players had a quiet week and the injury to Madison during a 5-0 win is a sore miss. The final score Niall 33, Nicholas 40. So there it is. Since week 5, 24 weeks ago I finally managed to climb up the table and overlap Niall. While it may be just on point difference for now, it's time to look at what can be achieved in the final 10 weeks. Ross is 10 points clear of Niall and myself, which requires both of us to get at least 4 wins in our next 10 games. However, we both have to play Ross twice, which should play a major part for all 3 teams, as well as the inevitable final face-off between Niall and myself. As for the middle of the table, Ross is still in a very comfortable position to chase for 3rd. Alex continues to free fall and is very much dependent on whether or not his players decide to come back to form. Liverpool will have favourable fixtures soon, which may benefit Salah. Tomas finally got past Alex, however it was Nicholas who squeezed ahead into 3rd position. They are both 3 wins away from Fuelon in 2nd and 5 wins away from Ahmed which unless both of them completely fall apart I can't see happening. As for the leading pair, Fuelon had a perfect chance to close the gap to 3 points and missed it leaving Ahmed with his comfortable 6 point lead at the top and only one of his remaining 10 games against Fuelon. So we now head into an interesting week with only 4 fixtures to choose from. Strouk, Ailing, and Roberts for Leeds have been picked up by myself. Leeds played well against Chelsea and Tyler Roberts had a good game to replace Bamford and Rodrigo. El Ghazi has finally made it into my squad to replace his club mate Traore who may be potentially injured. Meanwhile for Nicholas, some late transfers on Thursday evening with Danny Welbeck along with 2 former players of mine, Ben White of Brighton and Aina of Fulham. It's 8 players against 7, it's a week much dependent on the results of 4 teams, Leeds and Villa for myself, while Nicholas is relying on Brighton and Fulham. So that's where I'm ending the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. This season is almost over so if you have been watching these videos I greatly appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing how it all comes to an end. Best of luck with your teams. Stay safe and I'll catch you next week. Take care. See you later.